Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make keto brick muffins. And we'll get this recipe started right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to make mug cakes using a keto bread. As the only fat source. Yeah, this is going to be the only fat source. And I mean, we love keto bricks. We've been eating them since they first came out. Yeah. And if you don't know what a keto brick is, they're actually a meal replacement bar and they're a thousand calories for the bar. Which sounds scary. It does sound scary. But again, it's supposed to be a meal replacement bar. And it was designed by a guy named Robert Sykes, who's also known as Keto Savage. He designed him for himself when he was eating a tremendous amount of calories, bulking up, looking for something that would get him macros in. Yeah. So these are not like your regular like keto bar treat kind where of thing. Where they're like super sweet. Where they're sweet, 200 calories, kind of a thing to kind of get you through. This is designed to be a meal or your meal throughout the day. Yeah, and I mean, it is really filling. Yeah, I because mean, it is 80% fat. It's small, but mighty. Yeah. And we've even done keto brick for a week, and we felt great on it, but I gotta be honest, sometimes it was hard getting it down in just like even the puck form. Yeah. So we thought maybe it'd be nice to have it in another conveyance. Yeah, because a lot of people are doing it different ways. They're taking it, breaking it into pieces and eating it as a cereal with some almond milk. You've melted it down, Made put it coffee. with your coffee. Um, I've seen people making cookies with it. So we figured why not a mug cake? Let's do it. Now you can use any of the flavors of keto bricks that you want with this. I mean, we're gonna use the peanut butter, but we've tried it with the coconut cream. It works well with the mocha. Mm -hmm. um, so any of the flavors are gonna work. It's all gonna be about the same. So let's get into what we're gonna need. First thing we're gonna need is a keto brick. Okay. Now we're not gonna use an entire keto brick. This is an individual serving mug cake. If, yeah, I was, <laughs> oh my goodness, like a thousand calorie mug cake yeah no Ooh. that is our bird who we have now learned that the best way to keep him quiet when we're working in the kitchen is let him wander around the house yes. so sorry about that sorry she may fly around okay so feet. what we do is we actually melt these down when we get keto bricks to make them so that i can control myself eating them because otherwise i'll eat the entire brick in one sitting we melt these down into pucks and basically eight of these is equal to one brick i have a video right up here on how i actually do that uh, but I like it because this way, each one of these is 125 calories. It's about 19 grams. I actually saw somebody uh, this week that had a silicone mold that was shaped like, like a star. It was oh, super cool. cute. So we're going to use one of my pucks. And again, if you're making a recipe and you're not melting them down into pucks, you're looking for about 19 grams of keto brick. There'll be a link down in the description for this recipe on our website. Okay, so that was what, one thing we're going to need. We're going to need some heavy cream. We need some eggs. All right. We're actually going to use one egg. Nellie's. Um, then we're going to use baking powder. We're going to use almond flour, which I've already measured out into here. I love that. We're going to use some erythritol, or I'm using the Lakanto monk fruit. Now, this part is optional. It's if you want to make it a little bit more sweet. Heck yes. Uh, personally, I think that the keto break brings enough sweetness. I want this to be like a breakfast muffin. Some people are going to want like... Rachel to have it a little bit sweeter. Just understand you're adding some total carbs when you're using erythritol. But they're totally worth it. We're going to use some vanilla and we're going to use some stevia. Oh, sorry. I'm smelling the vanilla. And then finally, we're also going to use some baking powder, which I left over there, but I've already got it measured out. Okay. Okay. So, um, you ready to do this? Of course. Okay, this is a super easy recipe to do. Too. Oh, wait, how easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel could make it. Yay! Okay, so let's move everything off to the side because we do have an overhead camera and we want to make sure everything's going to go in there. So what we're going to use, and again, we've pre-measured everything out except for the liquid. So we're going to use a little ramekin, uh, but you can also use a mug, obviously. They make a really cute muffin, almost the size of a Costco muffin. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put the one keto brick in there and we're going to go melt that, or one keto puck, 19 yeah. grams, and we're gonna melt that. Takes about a minute to melt when it's in this form. 
What you want to do is melt it for like 30 seconds, 45 seconds, go in, stir it, and Check then it. come back. Otherwise, you're going to burn the brick. And then that's sad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's melted down. This is the consistency you want in here. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. We're going to add the egg last so that you don't cook the egg yeah. by accident because that is super hot. It is. Okay, so we're going to go two tablespoons of almond flour. Like I said, I've already got everything pre-measured out to make this video a little bit faster. Boop, boop. We're gonna go one tablespoon of cocoa powder mm -hmm. and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. And I already have that in there because the, in mixed with the cocoa powder just because it's such a small amount I didn't wanna lose any in the container. We're gonna go one teaspoon of your erythritol or you know granulated uh, monk fruit, anything like that. The only thing is, again, if you want to make it sweeter, add a little bit more. If you don't want it as sweet, use a little bit less or don't use it at all. Just understand you are adding total carbs to it. Not net carbs, just total carbs. Okay, so one teaspoon. Okay, now we're going to start with our liquid thing. So we're going to go with our heavy cream. Okay, so we're going to go half a tablespoon of heavy cream. And again, if you don't want to use heavy cream, you can use almond milk. Uh, you can even just use water. We're just trying to uh, make the uh, mixture a little bit, you know, more liquidy. And it makes it nice and rich. Okay, so now we're going to go over there. You've got your stevia, about 20 to 30 drops, depending on how sweet you want it. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Um, personally, me, I just kind of give it a little squirt. You don't want me dumping stuff. <laughs> And then with the same thing with our vanilla, we're going to go about a half a teaspoon. Personally, I never measure vanilla. Oh, ah, there we go. It smells so good. So by the way, we're using this brown paper because we have the granite countertop. Yeah. And uh, what happens is, is the lights above us reflect on there. So we're trying not to blind you. And then we need our eggs. Oh, we put the eggs away. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Do you know my Nelly's t-shirt is one of my very favorite t-shirts? Is it it's really? It's so comfortable. It's like weirdly comfortable. We got that t-shirt because if you like send in 10 of these proofs of purchase. Yeah. Okay, so one egg, and now we're simply going to mix it up. I use a fork to mix it up because it allows me to kind of get into the edges. You want to make sure you really incorporate this well. Try not to dump the cocoa. Okay, are you done here? I think so. Okay, just make sure everything is really well incorporated. You've gotten down into the edges and this is what it should look like. This should be about the consistency here so you can see. Looks almost like brownie yeah, batter. Yeah, kind of like a brownie batter. Okay. Okay. Um, you're going to go, depending on how gooey you want it. I want it gooey. You want like a minute and a half, uh, like a minute 15 to a minute and 30 seconds. Uh, so to put it in there for about a minute and 15 seconds. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. This is what it's going to look like. We'll put it right here. Nice and spongy. I always use a knife to just kind of separate the edge. Now, I don't know, every time I make a mug cake, sometimes the bottom fills out and sometimes it kind of looks like a triangle. It's got a, like a bizarre looking stump. Let's see what it looks like. So it's got a half a stump. Half a stump. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know why, it's, it's just the cooking vessel. So that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and cut this in half. Doesn't um, do anything to how good it tastes. No, because what it is, it's about the flavor and the texture. And take a look at that. Super spongy. Let's see if you guys can see it maybe up there. Look at that. Isn't that amazing looking? Looks like eyeballs. Okay. Here we go. It is nice and warm. And very like dense. Look at that. Yeah. So it is. It is very spongy. It's just, it's like a cross between like a cupcake and a muffin. And I think this is perfect for breakfast. Yeah. Ready? Mmm. Wow. This is something that's going to make you happy to go to work. Yep. Now, again, we're not making it super sweet. To me, it's just sweet enough, especially if you want to put some butter on top of it or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. The other thing is you could really experiment with this recipe. So you can take this base recipe, add some chocolate chips inside of it. That'll up your sweetness. Oh, wow. You can even cut out the erythritol and then add some chocolate chips and just have a, your muffin with little bites of chocolate chips and maybe increase the stevia. You could put some nuts in it. Some nuts, get some PB Fit powder, put maybe a tablespoon of PB Fit powder in there. Mm -hmm. um, lots of different things. My favorite thing to do is take cream cheese 
like maybe an ounce or a half an ounce of cream cheese, break it up into little tiny bits, and then after you've mixed your batter, just kind of drop it in there, give it one little oh, twirl. Oh, wow. And every time, as you, when you bake it, the cream cheese isn't going to incorporate, so when you take bites, you're gonna get little bits of cream cheese. How nice does that sound? So let's go over the nutrition on these. So one muffin, uh, which is utilizing 19 grams of keto brick, which is one of our keto puffs. And it's a giant muffin. It's a nice size muffin. It's really gonna fill you up. It's gonna be 318 calories, 27 grams of fat, wow. 14 grams of protein, nine and a half total carbs. Which fits, I mean, you can still use that in your day. Yep, three and a half grams of fiber, mm -hmm. uh, four sugar alcohols coming from the Lancanto monk fruit sweetener or erythritol, whichever one you're so using. So two net carbs. So two net carbs. Now, if you want to lower the total carbs, cut out the erythritol, double up the stevia, and then you'll be up at like six and a half total carbs on the muffin. Okay, so that is something to think about. And the great thing is, is this still holds really good keto macros coming in at about 78% fat. For a breakfast. For a nice breakfast. Gives you a little bit of an option if you're, you know, tired of bacon and eggs, tired of just having a fat coffee, want a little bit something to eat, this is your answer. And if you're trying to stretch the value of your keto brick, right. so like, you know, you're paying for it, this is gonna stretch out your keto brick and give you so, like a great size yeah. food. If you're eating like me an entire keto brick for the day, but you're like, wow, that's not a lot of actual eating, you wanna make it go a little bit more, making one of these, and then eating the rest of the keto brick and throughout the day, mm -hmm. that'll help stretch the amount of food you get to eat without adding a whole lot of calories You to know it. I'm all about that. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you make these and let us know what flavor keto brick you're gonna use for it. Yeah, because we've done coconut cream and I really like that one. Yeah, it works well with all of the different flavors. Now with the coconut cream, I would say this because uh, there's chunks of coconut in there, it takes up a little bit of the room. It does. I'd probably up your heavy cream to about a tablespoon. Yeah. But other than that, all of the other flavors work really perfectly just as is with this recipe. And again, the recipe is gonna be linked down in the description. Also, let us know what kind of things you're gonna to add to it. Would you yeah. add chocolate chips or nuts, maybe some swirls of peanut butter, all those different options. Okay, now I've got some ideas. So, well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.